This week, Madonna in Paris, an exclusive MTV News interview. Madonna's unusually brief world tour will arrive in the States next Thursday, and when the singer and the rest of her girly show troupe pulled into Paris recently, our own Juliet Honan was on hand for an exclusive interview. Madonna started her world tour in England in September amid the kind of press criticism that has followed her throughout her career. Although over this past year, the negative comments have been particularly brutal. I got to talk to her about this and her new show on her day off in Paris. I want to kiss you in Paris. Until anyone meets me, they think that I'm some um, solo flex machine, some sort of, some sort of ice queen, weird nymphomaniac dominatrix that never goes to sleep or cries. I don't know why. Madonna had a tough year. Last October, she released her book, Sex, a bestseller harshly criticized by the media. This was closely followed by Body of Evidence, which received a lukewarm response from audiences and even more vicious comments from the press. Her album, Erotica, was heralded by music critics as her most accomplished work yet. But with a chart high of number two, it wasn't her biggest hit, and the media again labeled it disappointing. You know, you've been criticized. It seems no. to me... Me criticized? What a shocker. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it seems like it's getting more brutal. I mean, they're particularly brutal in the last year or so. Mm. Have you noticed that? And no. Why, <laughs> why do you think that is? I mean, is there a Madonna backlash? I'm a strong female. I've been around for many years. Now, most celebrities usually have a lifespan of, of a certain amount of years. And I think if you're a woman, you're allowed to, to be famous for about seven years, and then you're supposed to either, either die of a drug overdose or um, get married and have several children or um, just start doing infomercials, horrible infomercials on television. I'm not really sure. One of those things, and none of those things, I haven't really fit into any of those, those categories, and I just sort of keep going, and I think that it frightens people. the show in Wembley I know you were very nervous was it because you didn't think they were gonna get it or because it was such a big crowd everything I mean I haven't been in front of a, an audience that big in a really long time and it was opening night so I had opening night jitters 80,000 people is a lot of people not to to feel that you have the responsibility to not let down and I know that the press was there from all over the world and everybody was waiting and um, it was a uh, um, pretty nerve-wracking. You gave me fever. Is it more difficult, do you think, than the Blonde Ambition tour? Yeah, because I can't fake my way through the show. I can't, uh, if I don't have a good night, I can't just go, well, I'll just sing the songs and not really think about them and everything will be fine. The last tour practically killed me. It's a shorter tour and because I'm playing a lot of stadiums, I play less dates. Let's talk about Hollywood a little bit because we both live there. Let's just gossip about people okay. in Hollywood. Come <laughs> on, let's get down with? to the nitty gritty. <laughs> I, I don't know, Shannon Doherty just married an 18 year old. No way. I swear to God, she married um, Elena Hamilton and George ha wait, Ashley Hamilton, he's 18 years old. He's probably gorgeous, but really. Please. Do you think they're friends? Now let's see your tattoos, they're not real, are they? Well. How can I fool the audience, Juliet, if you blow it for me, okay? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks so much. Well, I'm thinking of getting a tattoo, actually, so I'm, I'm, I'm practicing right now. Um, I can't believe I don't have one already, and everyone's actually trying to talk me out of it. I really want to get Diva on the back of my neck. I saw this guy with a tattoo that said that, and it was awesome. But I don't think I'll be brave enough to do that. Madonna will kick off her U.S. tour this coming Thursday with a three-night stand at New York's Madison Square Garden. And you can see the even more bizarre parts of Juliet Honan's Madonna interview in a half-hour MTV News special on October 20th. Look around, everywhere you turn.